guys good morning welcome to positive vibes um just wanted to first of all let me just say hey how you guys doing <laughs> hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far um i'm having a great day so far and i just wanted to just just touch on a little topic that um i think that most of us as adults face um you know and it's it's a topic that is near and dear to my heart but um i just wanted to just say a little thing i'm giving you guys a little bit of background here <laughs> but i just wanted to talk to you guys uh, the topic today that i wanted to talk to you guys about is letting your kids live you know don't try to live vicariously through your children i can understand that being a mom being a parent you know sometimes it's like you don't want to let your kids go you want them to make the best decisions, the right decisions, you know, in life that you, you think that is going to help them in life. And you kind of want them to make choices that you consider to be better. And so that is great. That is all well. That is all good. You're just being a parent and that's a good thing. You know, you want to see your children succeed in life and have the very best and do their very best. But sometimes it can become so um, overbearing and overwhelming, you know, for your adult child. And <clears throat> it, it sometimes can bring contention as well and resentment, you know. And I just want to tell you guys, like, just let them live. You know, you should be proud to know that you have raised you know, your adult children, your, your children to be adults and they're safe, they're healthy, they're making great choices in life, you know, and that they actually have ambition and want to do something in life. And you should just be proud enough to know that they want to do things that's going to get them to the destination that they want to get to, but that they want to do it their way. So you should trust yourself enough to know that, okay, you know what, my kids are going to make decisions based on how I've raised them or we've raised them um, and I can trust and know that they're gonna they're gonna make the right decisions for their lives you know sometimes as parents we want them to become you know what we didn't become or have what we didn't have or do what we didn't do and that's a great thing that is an awesome thing but step back a little bit and let them make choices because we've raised our children to make choices to make great choices in life and we've raised them to you know become great men and great women so we sometimes have to just step back and let them be adults <laughs> you know you be there for them when they need you 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 know you help them when they fall and you, you build them back up when they need to be built up but step back and let them let them engage in their own lives let them make choices that they feel is right for them okay and also give them give them space just let them breathe a little bit you know because as kids we grow up into adults and you know we want to feel like we're doing the right thing we're making the right choices that's going to bring us great fruits and you know all these awesome wonderful things in life and when, when, when your parents or a parent or a guardian, you know, is, is constantly, constantly on you about doing this and being this and doing this and doing this and doing this the, this way and doing this that way, you sort of feel like you're losing control of your entire life. Like, I don't have control of my life. You can't trust me enough to make a great decision, you know, and that can become, that can become a little heavy for your adult child. So you just have to remember that they are adults and that we've raised them, you know, into the great men and the great women, you know, adults that they are, and that we can trust them to make their, the right decisions that they want to make because ultimately the choice is theirs. It's no longer your choice. Once they have moved out of your house, <laughs> you know, the choice is theirs. And really, even if they are living in your house, as long as they're contributing and they're helping and they're not taking advantage of you, they're not walking all over you, but they're making choices that's catapulting them to great success, let them be. Let them make the choices. They're not robbing. They're not stealing. They're not selling drugs. They're not prostituting. They're not doing things that is wrong, but they're just making choices that is 
not traditional choices that you possibly wouldn't make when you were their age you know what i mean like for instance if your child want to be an artist support them get them a, a, a drawing pad or an easel or you know if they want to be a photographer get them get them a a, a, a camera you know whatever it is that they want to do help support them in that because that's going to help build them and they feel like oh man you know my my parents my family are on board with what i'm doing you know it's it's that ability it's that talent that they have inside of them and it's okay for them to want to be a doctor it's okay for them to want to be a nurse but what if they don't want to be what if they don't want to be a teacher what if they want to be a philanthropist you know what if they want to be an artist what if they want to be a singer you know something that's out of the ordinary that's outside of the box that you know that your mama and your daddy wouldn't let you you know do when you were a child or kids or an adult you know give them their own stance let them be strong and stand on their own too and if they need you they'll let you know but if they don't need you just know that they're doing what they're supposed to do and maybe it's their God-given talent, their God-given ability, you know, to do that. And that's where the abundance is going to come from. You know what I mean? So you could be beating over your child's head to, no, you can't do this. And no, you can't do that. There's no money in that. There's no this and that. But first of all, you don't do anything for money. Second of all, you do something because you love it. And it's what's natural, what comes easy to you. And that's going to bring in the money. You know what I mean? And then they can lavish you and take care of you for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know, but just let them let them stand on their own too that's how they're going to learn to be adults that's how they're going to learn to be responsible and hey that's how they're going to get up out of your house all right <laughs> so just back down a little bit <laughs> hope that this tip guys hope that this tip is good for you and you know hopefully that you'll take it in and, and you'll listen to it and if you're dealing with that right now if you're struggling with that you know just take what I've said today and maybe apply it and see how it works out you know maybe just encourage them to go for their go for their dreams you know not just reach for the stars but reach for the third heavens you know what I'm saying so hope you guys have a wonderful day and if you let you want to see more videos like this give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next episode Thanks guys, have a great day.